2023 uh, regular legislative meeting at 2 p.m. Will the clerk please call the roll? Michael Yardin. Present. Herbert Yardin. Present. Edward Gilson. Here. David Holtz. Here. Roy Rehill. Here. John Martino. Here. Frank Bombardo. Here. Paul House. Here. James Weatherup. Here. Mary Ellen Chesbro. Here. Linda Lockwood. Here. Richard Klein. Present. Patrick Twist. Here. Stephen Walpole. Here. Nathan Emmons. Here. James Scanlon. Here. Lori Magano. Here. Robert Wilmot. Here. Marie Schatz and Mark Mark Excuse. Tim Stahl. Here. Noelle Samuelson. Here. James Karasek. Here. Michael Soloway. Here. Mark Greco. Here. Frank Castillo. Here. Mr. Chairman, that's 24 present, one excused. You have a quorum. Thank you. Will the clerk please lead us in the invocation. In this new year of challenges and new beginnings, encourage us to deflect the differences that distract us and seek more of the goals we hold in common. Free our thoughts and energies to the great needs and opportunities in the community. And throughout our work this year, may the questions be clear, the answers short, and the solutions reachable. Amen. 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 Now the pledge. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, could we have Vice Chairwoman Linda Locker come forward? <laughs> I'd like to open the floor for nominations for the Chairman of the Legislature. I nominate Jim Weatherup. We have a first, do we have a second? Second. second. Is there any other nominations? Is there any other nomination? Is there any other nomination? Okay. Um, could I have to vote? Um, in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Congratulations. chairwoman of this legislature. First took office in 2008, quickly established herself as a thoughtful leader, and in, by 2014 was elected by this body to serve as vice chair under Chairman Gardner. She proceeded to serve under Chairman Grogwell and then myself. Despite not holding a leadership role in the coming year, we fully expect Linda to continue playing an active and integral role to this body and look forward to working with her for many years to come.
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I trust we've had a uh, moment to read the minutes of the Oswego County uh, Legislature regular meeting on December 15th, 2022. So moved. Second. 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 Any approvals, corrections, Mr. Casey? Legislator Casey. Uh, Mr. Chairman, fellow legislator, minutes of the meeting. Need some corrections. Uh, Matt Ritz is passing out uh, the questions that I suggested. Uh, I can read right straight through them. One and two uh, are dealing with roll call votes, and the reporting is roll call votes in the minutes. Number three is uh, in the point that uh, Legislator Martino. Motion to move resolutions FP1 and FP6 as a block by general consent. Legislator will a second. Shows a count of 24 and one absent. I don't think Mr. Wilbur was a legislator this summer. No, but he wasn't absent. These go into the record books, and I just want them to show what they're supposed to show, so I'm asking that these minutes be held until the uh, next uh, legislative meeting when the corrections can be made, we can read them over again, please. Okay. I mean, it, the last one, FP7, FP2, which is voting on the, the budget, it shows a vote of 23 <coughs> yeses, one no, and three absences. Now, if you have 12 men on the field of football, kind of a penalty, so <laughs> if you've got too many people voting yes, <laughs> it passed, but I'm sorry, but you can't have that many yeses if they're not here, okay? All right, we'll look at those and amend as, as and if needed. Thank you. Um, at this point now, I'd like to announce the majority and the minority uh, leaderships and whips. Very proud to announce that the Republican caucus has chose Paul House to be the next majority leader. Legislator Lori Mangano. <laughs> and also Legislator Frank Castilia will be the minority leader. <laughs> uh, Legislator Marie Schott, who is absent today, has apparently agreed to be the minority whip. <laughs> Recognitions. Um, I don't believe we have a lot of uh, necessarily visitors and uh, some may speak on public comments. But I'd like to thank uh, our highway superintendent, uh, Sean Walker. Um, he answered the call last week on a storm in Buffalo. He rallied the troops. We got volunteers to go out there. Um, it was well received by both the community that sent him and also by the community that he went to help. Well, that's a great thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. The one thing that I think the community needs to know is that we had also reached out to Jefferson County. They didn't uh, feel they needed their help. They were in pretty good shape. And we also reached out to the city of Watertown. So, thank you. Public speakers on resolutions of the day. Legislator House. There are none. Thank you. We'll move now to reports of county officials. Reports of standing committees. Reports of special committees. Thank you. Moving now to resolutions and motions. We have a resolution OR1 by Legislator Caress. Please, please read the heading. Resolution appointing Director of Public House for the County of Oswego. So it is my privilege to offer the name of Vera Dunsmore as the new Director of Public Health for Oswego County. Um, I say that because Vera has done an outstanding job 
previous to taking over the kind of intern period between Ching Chang and this moment today. You all have a copy of her resume. It's quite impressive. Uh, impressive. It's uh, very extensive. Um, we have forewarned her that when she gives reports to the health committee, to try to keep it as brief as this. <laughs> Thank, so, you. Uh, Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Second by legislator Klein. Any other discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excused. Thank you. Would uh, Mayor Dunsmore please rise to your seat? By yes, Mr. Chairman, I offer this resolution and I urge its adoption. Will the clerk please read the heading. Resolution appointing members to the Industrial Development Agency Board of Directors. Um, yes, Mr. Chairman, this is something that we do every single year. It is under New York State general municipal, municipal law, and the individuals that we are asking to be appointed are Gary Talk, Nick Canelli Jr., H. Leonard Schick, Mark Greco, Tricia Peter Clark. Tim Stahl and Mary Trimble. Thank you. Do we have a second? A second. Multiple seconds. Any discussion? Legislator Castillo. Mr. Chairman, fellow legislators, in the past we have nominated a Democratic legislators beyond this committee, and we still have not a Democratic legislator on this committee. And I think that uh, some point in time we start looking at this. It's, it's just not. I'm looking down, I know the list, I know who the people are, and there's only one Democrat and one conservative, the rest of them I believe are Republicans, but I, I know there's only one Democrat, though. He's not a legislator, you've got two legislators on there, and I think it should be one legislator that's a Democrat and one legislator that's a Republican. I'm sorry. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, is Abstain and so. Mr. Chairman, there's 21 in favor, one opposed, one excused, and two abstain. Thank you. Moving now to resolution OR3 by Legislator Bombard. I offer this resolution and I urge this adoption. Could the clerk please read the heading? Resolution designating the official newspapers for publication of all election notices, official canvas, local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published. Thank you. Do we have a second? I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. It's a pretty standard uh, thing that we do every January. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excuse. Thank you. Moving to resolution OR4 by Legislator Mangan. Chairman, I offer this resolution and urge its adoption. Will the clerk please read the heading? Resolution designating the Oswego County Treasurer as a responsible official to correct clerical errors and errors in essential fact under Real Property Tax Law 556. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to amend to include, um, sorry, motion to amend the resolution to include section Real Property Tax Law, subsection 554. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion on the amendment? Thank you. All in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excuse for the amendment. Thank you. Back to the original resolution then. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, it's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excused. Thank you. Moving to resolution OR5 by Legislator Twist. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, I offer the following resolution. Urge is adopted. Will the clerk please read the heading? Resolution adopting an Oswego County investment policy and designating banks as depositories of county funds. Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to make a motion to amend this resolution to include the investment policy. Thank you. Second. And a second. So we've all seen that policy. Comfortable. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Mr. 
Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excuse. Thank you. Then back to the original resolution as amended. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And then, Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excuse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Resolution OR6 by Legislator Solomon. Mr. Chairman, I offer this resolution and encourage its adoption. Will the clerk please read the heading? Resolution Awarding Professional Services Contract Grant Writing Legislature. This is just an extension of an existing contract we have with Strategic Development Specialists and Services. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Legislator Twist seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, this is 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excuse. Thank you. Moving to resolution OR7 by Legislator Legislator Mr. Chairman. OR7. You're offering OR7 for adoption? I am offering OR7, resolution OR7 for adoption, and I urge its adoption. Thank you. Sorry. Clerk, please read that. Resolution waiving civil service testing fees for 2023. Thank you. Any discussion? I would add that this is just a small thing that we can do. Second. Second. Excuse me. There are multiple seconds. Catch. Now you want a discussion? Now I want a discussion. Let's clear the seat. Yes. Here we're going to say, Mr. Chairman, that you know it may seem like a little bit to have that you know fee waived, and for us that have got good jobs and everything, that fee doesn't seem like much. But for somebody that doesn't have a job and is looking for a job, that fee might as well be a million dollars. And this is something that is absolutely fantastic for us to do it. And I applaud the legislature for bringing this forward, and hopefully everybody votes this through. Thank you very much. Thank you. The start of the new year, Legislator Castilia is applauding us. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, that's 24 in favor, zero opposed, and one excused. Thank you. Moving to unfinished business. Legislator Castilia. Mr. Chairman, it's been at least six months now, and we still have not heard anything on the report on DSS by the Bonadale Group. Is there anything that we've heard? Anything that can we put a cap on something to say when we would like to hear something? The report itself, I would share with you that it is eminent, and at that point, when it becomes uh, you know, our property, we will dis distribute it, both to the legislature and to the media. Any other discussion? Any other unfinished business? Any miscellaneous business? Legislator Castillo. Mr. Chairman, fellow legislators, uh, under the public comment period uh, we have with us today, a gentleman uh, that would like to speak to us about a humanitarian aid that he's working on for the war in Ukraine. And he will be speaking during the public comment period. And I would hope that everybody would stick around and be able to honor the gentleman and listen to what he has to say and what he's doing. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now that you bring that up, the rules of our legislature for the last uh, 13 some odd years, we're going to go to an executive session here, um, which we're going to have to clear the room. After that, we're going to come back in, we'll have an adjournment, and then we'll have the public comment period, as we have for 13 years. So having said that, we need a motion to go into executive session by motion. the media, seconded by Legislator Kraft. Mr. Chairman, I ask that the executive session be regarding pending litigation, anisethanol, and proposed litigation regarding the Swigil Harbor Power. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourn. Thank you. We now offer a public comment period. Legislator House. Thank you, sir. Um, Anton Cherkovsky. How bad did I do on that? 
Hello guys, thank you very much for staying. I know you can leave, but you stayed. I appreciate it. My name is Anton. I'm Ukrainian. I'm not Zelensky, but I'll do my best. So, um, I live here in Oswego. I'm a physician assistant. I work in a hospital. I also work in uh, Central Square, Fulton Urgent Cares. I work in Auburn Urgent Cares. Uh, since the start of the war, my wife and I have been uh, gathering aid and sending it. At first, it was just one bag of you know, medical supplies that you know, mentors ambulance donated to us, expired medication, stuff like that. There was a few more bags we bought, you know, collected money and bought tourniquets, which are actually a huge deal in, in uh, Ukraine for mainly for soldiers. You wouldn't believe it how big the smiles are on the faces of the soldiers who actually have a tourniquet. You know, we get these pictures and it kind of uh, it's it's sad, but you know, we're happy we can help. And we started sending, you know, 10 bags at a time. I started traveling 20, 30, 40 bags at a time. Uh, and we sent half a container, then we sent a full container. And uh, now we're um, collecting, you know, aid for our uh, third container. And uh, we, we need space. It's a little bit tough. At first, we did it outside of our home in our driveway, but because of the weather, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's a little bit tough to both organize and uh, properly pack uh, without it getting all wet. Uh, and so we are essentially, I'm here today to see if somebody could help us find a space to simply um, you know, organize and um, uh, package 20 pallets and then uh, a truck will come and pick them up. Hopefully in the next month if we can do all this quickly. And of course if you guys have uh, access to, for instance, uh, maybe old uh, turnout gear, so firefighting equipment, which is a huge deal. We've sent probably 300 sets so far. And uh, you know, the Ukrainians are very, very thankful. Um, maybe even expired baby formula. It's sad to say, but soldiers, you know, eat this, uh, they, they're fine with it. They don't care that it, it's expired. Uh, medical supplies, um, you know, even good winter clothing, boots, um, you know, undergarments, you know, for soldiers, all this stuff is very welcome. We'll happily send it. Generators also are a big deal. We bought 10 of them. Well, two were donated and uh, eight I uh, bargained and essentially from Facebook Marketplace and uh, Craigslist and uh, I think we bought each for about a hundred bucks, which is not too bad, and I think it's going to help. They're in transit now, so that's pretty much the situation. My phone. How can I, how can I share my phone number? Can I, I just say it now or? Yeah. It's, um, well, if somebody wants to write it down, it's. Uh, okay. Later. Now. You can get rid of the well, meeting. I'll get it. Okay. Perfect. So please let me know, and uh, yeah, I'm always available if you guys can help in some way. We'll we'll be very grateful, and so will people of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Before we leave the legislature, and I would like to say thank you. Excuse me. And we have reached out to our buildings and grounds department, okay. which is located here in the city. Our uh, head of that department is Rick Doton in the back. If you can get with him, okay. we have found space for your panel. Awesome. Thank you. Well, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Thank you. Just in case, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's no more speakers, Mr. Hall. 3747. Yeah, I was going to have speakers, correct? No one's jumped in? We're all learning here. Thank you very much. All right, thank you again for, uh, for your confidence in me. Thank you.